subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hello YouTube, this is Vasse here and in this video I am going to show you how you can install Eclipse IDE particularly for Java. So let's begin the video. So first of all you are going to open your internet browser. You are going to download Java JDK. The link of this website will be in the video's description. You are going to scroll down and here it says Java SC Development Kit 12.0.2. You are going to need this in order to install Eclipse for Java. So this is mandatory. First of all you are going to accept the license agreement and then you are going to download from one of these here you can see windows 64 bit if you have a 32 bit version then you have to go on google and type java jdk 32 bit but mine is 64 bit version so i'm going to click on it and it will start the download process i have already downloaded it so i'm not going to download again the other website is the eclipse website itself so you're going to open the second link in the video's description and the eclipse website will open up which is actually your compiler for java so here it says eclipse foundation and here you can see eclipse uh, insg windows 64 because uh, i'm using a 64 bit operating system so that's why i'm installing a 64 bit if you don't know what uh, type of uh, operating system you are using all you have to do is you're going to open your file manager and here you can see on the left it says this pc right click on it and click on properties and here uh, it will say here it is system type 64 bit operating system so you can check uh, out which operating system that you are using before downloading these files so you're going to press on download and the download should begin again i have already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again i'm going to close the internet explorer once you have downloaded both both the applications you're going to run java jdk here it is you're going to right click on it and you're going to run it as an administrator preparing to install here it is the setup wizard next uh, uh, wherever it is going to be installed next and it's going to install it the java jdk after this we are going to install the eclipse itself okay it has installed it i want to press on close so now you're going what you are going to do that you're going to go down on your search and here you're going to type advanced system settings here you can see here it says view advanced system settings you're going to press and open it and here on the right bottom it says environmental variables environment variables press on it and here it says system variables so now you're going to open your file manager your computer here it is local disk c you're going to go to program files and you will have a folder named java you're going to open it here it says java jdk 12.0.2 and here it will contain a folder named bin open it and now you can see this uh, location for the folder you're going to click on once you're going to right click right click on it and you're going to press on copy if it does not select it just uh, press ctrl a to select it all and right click to copy it now on environmental variables here it says system variables so press on new uh, where variable name java variable value the directory itself that we just copied press on ok and here you can see it says java and its location so we are done from here press on ok and ok so we have completed installing the jdk now it's time to install the eclipse compiler itself so here it's the eclipse setup i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to run it as an administrator so it will run only if you install java jdk if you're not going to install it it will not run and it will show an error box saying that you have to install java jdk so that's why it is mandatory to install java jdk okay eclipse ide for java developers for enterprise java developers c c++ developers so you can see that eclipse is 
showing some different kinds of uh, languages that it can support but we are going to install the java version so i'm going to click on eclipse ide for java developers that is the first one create a start menu entry if you want you can do but i'm not going to need it for now and the installation folder wherever the software is going to be installed and i'm going to press on install to begin the installation accept the user agreement or the license okay do you want these certificates we are just going to select all accept selected and it's almost about to finish launch it has completed eclipse here it is eclipse 2019-06 its version okay workplace meaning where uh, ever its metadata will be stored so i'm going to just going to set it on its default location so here you have eclipse so in order to create a new file here you can press on create a new java project or you can go on the upper side here it says file new and java project so let give the project let's give the project a name like my first program you can name any thing that you like finish and module name if you have any i'm just going to give it one for now okay and number can i use i'm going to give it m create okay once it has created that you're going to close the welcome screen here it says first right click on it go to new class uh, name anything i'm going just going to type one make sure that it is public press on abstract public static void and finish and here you can say see its name the package first and all the things so you're going to start your coding from here public static void main let me type a piece of code system dot out dot print and i'm just going to type subscribe to my channel okay once i have done that i'm going to go on the upper left side and here is the run press on it okay and here you can see the compiler has given the result subscribe to my channel so anyways guys this is how you can install eclipse ide particularly for java on your windows pc if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions write them in the comment section below and you have and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so thank you for watching this video